Hello and welcome to an overview of the Zachman Architecture Framework. I am Henry Kolber of Colorado Technical University's doctoral class CS847 presenting this information as a class project. In this presentation of the Zachman Architecture Framework, or ZAF is abbreviated for the purposes of this discussion only, we will seek to gain a basic knowledge of the following. <coughs> what is the ZAF? Who created it? How is it used? What does it look like? And what is an example of how it might be used? As the ZAF was the first notion of an architecture that caught on and survived, I refer to it as Patient Zero, for it went on to influence many of the IT architecture frameworks in following years. As usual nowadays, a more detailed discussion of the ZAF can be read at the Wikipedia site dealing with the ZAF, which has many helpful links as well. The ZAF was created by John Zachman, who was working for IBM at the time of initial publication in 1987. A further biography of John Zachman can be read again at Wikipedia. The ZAF is used by information technology systems developers to describe architectures of both current systems and of future systems to be built. IT architectures tend to have multiple documents and diagrams, also known as artifacts, that describe a system. The ZAF is a way of identifying the needed artifacts for an architecture and how they relate to each other. An early ZAF matrix of artifacts that describe an architecture is shown at the bottom right and can better be seen by doing a Google search on images of Zachman diagram. The main point is that the matrix of artifacts has evolved and expanded over time from a 3x5 matrix to the current 6x5 matrix, which we will focus on in this presentation. The Zachman matrix of architecture artifacts can be used to progressively describe an architecture in more detail, in a top-down fashion, going from high-level information to a more detailed description. Closer examination of each of the cells of the matrix reveal that some artifacts are produced that may be considered works of a dedicated IT architect, while other artifacts are those of designers and developers. As can be seen in the diagram in the bottom right, which is a later version of the ZAF, more concepts appear than were present in the earlier version. First, we will consider the focus of the rows, from top to bottom, going from more abstract down to more concrete. The artifacts of the rows seek to present coordinated views for contextual, conceptual, logical, physical, and detailed levels of perspective. At each level of perspective, questions such as what, why, how, who, where, and when will need to be answered. The intersection of perspective levels and defining questions interact to produce the architectural description matrix. This is the essential Zachman Architecture Framework model for architectural description. Over time, certain rules for producing architectural artifacts using the ZAF approach have been developed. These rules are meant to help in architectural definition but not act as an impediment to the artifact development process. For example, Rule 5, each cell is unique, would not necessarily imply that two or more separate but complementary artifacts could not fit in the same cell. So, as we can see, there are progressive levels of description in the ZAF matrix. A rough division of artifacts produced by IT roles at each level might break out as levels 1 and 2 as products from an architect, levels 3 and 4 for a designer, and level 5 for a programmer or coder. When all of the products of the different levels are present, then a complete architectural picture will develop. As an example of what an architecture effort might look like in a specific project context, the architectural description of what a data warehouse architecture might look like is examined. In this artifact identification matrix, 
an architect for a data warehouse project may decide that the documents and diagrams artifacts would be produced and collected as indicated in this ZAF matrix. Here, the project has three main process capabilities, data migration, reports slash dashboards, and analytics. As such, some cells of the matrix may have several artifacts for each developed capability answering the same definition need. This can be seen at level 3, the logical level, in the what column. In this case, we have a logical data model artifact and a reports definition artifact. I hope you have found this information on the Zachman Architecture Framework helpful. If you wish to know more, please consult the following references. Thank you for your time.